This is Salamancer, and today we've got a game between Princeton Plainsboro Hospital, tagged up as MD, and Team Grills, which is actually called Mummy and Friends, as of last night, which was after this game was played. This game, I think, was played uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then Tiger and Linke came up with uh, came up with the name Mummy and Friends much, much later. So, uh, of course, during this game, they were actually called Dead Team 101. There we go. Fix my microphone a little bit there. Uh, but looks like we are playing on King of the Hill Viaduct here in ESCA Open, and, and the first kill goes to Problem from Princeton Plainsboro Hospital. They have killed the Crux, so it turns out that Princeton Plainsboro is not all about healing people. It's also about uh, taking out their brains for later study. Ouch. Uh, looks like, as a counter, Mummy ended up killing... Uh, Ended up killing problem, but that is the only casualty for Princeton Plainsboro. They have captured the middle point first, and they have a pretty big uber advantage right now. So it's going to be tough, I think, for Mummy and Friends, which actually used to be called Tiger and Friends. These guys are just—they're messing with me now. Um, for Mummy and Friends to get out here and capture the point because they're going to have to force a pop out of Princeton Plainsboro. They've got about 85% Uber right now, so they may just wait for their Uber to be ready to go. They might not try to suicide anybody in. I think it would probably be a wise idea, but Uber versus Uber can be tough. Oh, here comes the suicide, actually. Marmaduke Grills. Grills. <laughs> Jumping in after the medic, but completely gets taken out there. Um, and I need to turn this down because it's really loud. Sounds like, oh, Grills. Uh, Link A dropped an Uber there. However, um... Our Team MD, that is Princeton Plainsboro, did end up fo popping the Uber anyway. So they are going to start building once again. There goes Problem getting finished off by uh, Mummy, who ended up being taken out there by Nate Rivers. So three up right now for the red team. They're going to have to start building that Uber again, and already 30% advantage for Princeton Plainsboro. So I, I don't know. I think Princeton Plainsboro might have this round. They've held it for a minute 30 seconds here. And yeah, what Red Team has to do is make a non Uber push. Um, sounds like Nate Rivers has gone down once again. Marmaduke Grills just came back up, and so pretty soon we should see our Red Team here. Mummy and Friends uh, making an attack, and actually Snailboat getting right on top of this medic. Nice kill by Snailboat Grills, uh, who is j desperately trying to dodge those rockets and does manage to do that. So I do think that. Mummy and friends should be able to cap the point. They've got the demo capping it right now, and a soldier demo apparently running the pain train, so he's going to have uh, that times two capture rate to help them capture it twice as fast. Just about, anyway. I don't think it's quite twice as fast. There's some kind of a weird equation going on there where once you get up to, like, six or seven, the, the uh, increase isn't really linear anymore, but, um, yeah, whatever. It's it's about twice as fast. We'll just, we'll just call it that. And, uh, yeah, blue team coming into attack once again already. They're, they're just like, they're itching to get time on this point, which they're already doing with their demo, who is not running the pain train. Here comes the Uber, though. Very well timed there for our red team, so they're going to hold on to this point for a while longer, keep their men alive, but actually they've lost uh, Marmaduke and Sailboat here, so this could be bad for them. Now they're getting pressured in by Scout. Oh, Scout, in fact, on top of Link A, going for the crossbow shot and gets taken out. That is, of course, the downside of using the crossbow. Um, you just don't have those needles to spam everywhere, and... You know, on a really, you know, long-distance map like Badlands or, or even Gully Wash, where sometimes you just can't reach your soldiers when they're on top of points and stuff, having that crossbow can be really useful to try to get the heals on your team. Nice try, Crux, but not going to work there. But on a map like this, where you pretty much, if you can see your team, most of the time you can heal them. Oh, Marmaduke going for the Gardener. Can't hit it. But they do manage to force the pop there on the tree. So uh, nicely done to them. Mummy here, helping to capture the point once again. Anyway, what I was going to say was, I would rather see the needles being used, because on this map, if you can see your team, you can pretty much heal your team. Um, so, the crossbow, not nearly as good for self-defense as those needles, and you're going to need to defend yourself on this map quite a lot, I think, because uh, if your team gets taken out for any reason whatsoever, oh, here comes a soldier, jumping in, see, this is what I mean! Link A just got taken out there. Probably those needles would not have helped in that situation, because needle air shots are actually pretty tough to hit. But, uh, yeah, you're... you're gonna get attacked a lot, and you won't always have people defend you, so I think the Needles are probably a better choice for this map, just my personal analysis, but um, 30 seconds left here for Princeton Plainsboro, and uh, it's not looking like it's really getting too close yet. Um, Link A up a little bit earlier than the tree, but the tree actually getting the heals faster, so uh, both teams gonna have about the same uber percentage. Let's see, uh, regular, no, maybe not, the tree, well, yeah, it's close enough. The tree and Link A both uh, running the regular Medigun. No crit screen yet. We haven't seen any of that. And Crux ends up taking out Navboss from Princeton, Plainsboro. So, um, 
By the way, I checked out the Princeton Plainsboro uh, team page on, on what was it, uh, the ESCA website, and yes, it is just a picture of Dr. House, so excellent. <laughs> so that was one of my favorite shows back in college. We'd watch that like as a as a floor. We'd just go sit down in the. Uh, that's well, okay. We'll just we'll just keep the camera zoomed in here for a little bit. That's cool, I guess. Um, we can get like a fish island or something going on. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah. So Princeton Plainsboro do capture once again, and the times are a little bit closer now. But with only 20 seconds left on the clock, I do think Princeton Plainsboro has a very good shot of winning this round. Uh, there's only one push left here for. Dead Team 101, a.k.a. Mummy and Friends, and Gravegun does get knocked up in the air oh, by the Uber, so Nate Rivers and Gravegun both going down. Crux getting taken out, though, on the point, and Princeton Plainsboro holding on to this point, bringing it to overtime. We will see our red team capture, but as soon as blue captures again, uh, that's going to be it. So they just need one successful push, and they pretty much have time for two here, as long as they don't get too bogged down um, fighting over this territory, which right now they are. Navboss taking a lot of hits, taking a lot of heals, though, too, and the Ubers are going to be just about even. Um, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a Kritzkrieg, so finally, uh, to get some kind of an advantage here, the tree is running the Kritzkrieg. Oh, loses Grave Gun, though, and it looks like, oh, is he actually running the, uh, yeah, the regular syringe gun? Well, kind of a strange syringe gun to, to count up how many kills he gets with it, but he is running the regular needles, so that's probably going to be a better idea for uh, self-defense in this map, and here the Kritzkrieg is almost ready to go, so let's see if we can't find it. It's going to be Woodman taking the crits. Uh, is it going to get popped on him? Actually, no. Where is the Kritzkrieg? There we go. It's okay. It is popped on the Demo Man, um, but... Uber was forced here for our red team. They're actually holding on to the point, so I thought Princeton Plainsboro was going to win this one, but it turns out uh, it's going to be really tough for them to do that. Now they're bombing in, trying to take out like the medic, but uh, there's too many fragging classes up now. So there you go. Dead Team 101, a.k.a. Mummy and Friends, win the first capture. Nicely done. Uh, they came from behind there in that round, and really showed us what it's all about here on King of the Hill Viaduct Pro. Which, by the way, a much tougher map for snipers than regular Viaduct, because there just aren't as many easy positions to get into sniping from. Uh, probably going to try that from here, but... Oh! Knocked out by Mummy, so that is the first casualty of this new round. And... Uh, looks like our red team here is... Oh! Second shot there! Mummy getting some really good shots, so it looks like maybe there is a reason they were called Mummy and Friends. Good jump in by the soldier, just trying to deal a lot of damage to... Yeah, there goes a Grave Gun. Uh, but they've lost Tiger, actually, and they've lost Snailboat. Tiger going to be a really important uh, member of that team, of course. Uh, I remember seeing a game, and I think I casted it with Duder on XCV, where Tiger was just doing some absolutely crazy stuff. It was on Gravel Pit, on they were defending C, and Link A and Tiger, like, they didn't take the normal medic spots where you would expect a medic to, uh, to like, stay up on the spire or maybe stay up on one of those ramps really close to spawn. No, they were just like, screw it, we're going to go, like, straight up to the choke points leading into C, and we're going to anticipate which one they go into, and then Tiger is just going to ruin everyone's day. And, and really, they did an amazing job of that. So, you know, we were, we were raving about Tiger then. He is quite a good soldier. So, um, just starting to spam a little bit now, and our red team here, that is Mummy and Friends, do once again hold on to the point. Uh, a couple of sticky traps going to get set up right there, but that's going to be visible, so nobody... I mean, nobody's going to walk under there, which is actually kind of the purpose of the trap. Um, <coughs> if people know that there is a trap there, then they're just going to have to get funneled somewhere else because uh, they don't want to run into a trap, and that, of course, actually plays into the hands of the defending team. Nice kill there by Crux. Ends up taking the tree down, so even though they've got less fragging classes up right now and they may have to lose this point, they're going to have a huge uber advantage and they will be able to push back onto it in maybe the next 30 seconds. So they're not going to lose very much time here as long as Linke doesn't die and they're not taking too much damage. So our red team should be able to have this point quickly recaptured. A nice shot there by Mummy, no scoping the Demo Man, and now looking to get a headshot on that soldier. Can't get it just yet. Um, and misses the second one here too, so Mummy does finally get taken down there. Uh, but the Uber charge is ready to go, so Tiger jumping straight in and misses the first rocket actually. Woodman taken down, um, and that's one frag, but they're going to need a couple more here. Oh, found the medic! The tree chose the wrong way to run there. Um, which, I mean, it was kind of a coin toss, because maybe he was expecting Tiger to jump straight on top of him, but instead Tiger just kind of anticipated his escape route, and uh, nicely done by that soldier, so once again... Well, Link A was taken down, so I was going to say they might have an uber advantage, but it turns out... No, they're not. Uh, they're going to be just about even on the ubers, which actually isn't too terribly bad for the red team. They need to capture this point, though. That's the one thing they forgot to do with that uber. They, they pushed forward, they killed the enemy medic, which is really good, and oh... Two kills for uh, Snailboat and Crux. Um, so that's going to that's gonna help 
<laughs> okay, okay, Marmaduke. That's really going to help them, uh, yeah, hold on to this point for a little while longer. They, in fact, do have a new bird advantage and are not running the Gritzkrieg, so for some reason... Oh, the tree is taken down, too! Um, I was going to say, for some reason, the tree just didn't have the heals on as long as uh, Linke did, and then they died. So, you know, like, y you can't build Uber and you're dead. Which means that, of course, Link is going to have a big advantage. Uh, needs to keep his soldier healed there, and yeah, I think Tiger does play pocket, so should uh, should be taking as much heals as possible. Grab that health kit there, which, you know, sometimes people are like, no, you got to leave that for the medic, but, of course, uh, if there is no threat nearby and you know it, then you just, you know, and, and as a medic, if you already have, like, 150 health, then you just go like, okay, yeah, whatever, um, take the kit, because it helps you, you know, it helps me keep everybody buffed and overhealed a lot faster. Nice grab on the, uh, oh, <laughs> nice grab on that health kit by the tree, and good dodging by him, but it was not enough against an ubered soldier. Uh, he did pull out that uber saw, thinking maybe the uber would fade just fast enough for him, but it's, it was, uh, pretty much a bad position to be in all around right there. Problem, looking for some kills once again. What's he gonna spot, though? Looks like maybe there was something, yeah, inside the house over there. Oh, nice shot on Link A. So problem has become a problem for somebody anyway. Uh, and now peeking over towards the health kit. I mean, he's getting pressured by a scout, but nah, it's not going to do enough to kill him. However, oh, the tree is just dying constantly, and I know his pain because it's like every time I play medic, I'm always out of position. He's probably not as much out of position as maybe his team just isn't watching the flanks as well, but he keeps getting flanked on viaduct, and oh, there goes problem. Headshot by Mummy. And really, really big advantage going right now to Mummy and Friends. Princeton Plainsboro need to hold it for two minutes here to win this round, so I, I kind of doubt whether they can actually do that. Uh, let's just see, though. Let's just see. Oh, man. Uh, I am starting to feel a little bit allergic here, too, so I apologize if I have to just stop talking for a second. I will mute my microphone to sneeze, so you don't have to hear that. Um, oh, Tiger taken out by Grave Gun on the Demo Man. Let's see... Uh, Crux cam now. Crux trying to defend against the scout, and the scout deciding he doesn't want to walk over stickies. Probably a wise idea. Um, it seems like they're trying to build that Uber with the scout, but he needs to stop doing that. They're already 100%, so stop hurting yourself, scouts. Um, stop hitting yourself. Take it from me. I used to hit myself too, and uh, it's you know you, you can stop. There you go. Nice kill by Crux, taking out the tree with a pill. And now, just starting to try and get some capture time out on that point, but he needs to make sure, yeah, that he starts uh, denying people the route to attack the point. And no, he is taken down by Problem, who is now on the scout. Soldier jumping in to knock out Tiger, and then, oh, takes out, uh, Problem actually takes out Link A, but with some rocket help from Navboss. Marmaduke here on the scout. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. I didn't... Let's go. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's an overtime, so red team needs to capture the point once again. But every time I've seen Marmaduke, he's played Soldier, so I don't know, maybe he's just like swapping between Soldier and Scout depending on what the team needs because Mummy is going Sniper. Um, and yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. I kind of like that. I like that he can play both of those classes effectively. So the team has a very versatile player there in Marmaduke Grills. Um, Grave Gun now just trying to deal some sticky damage, and Problem helps take out Mummy over there on the flank, so no sniping right now. Um, it's very possible that Princeton Plainsboro has turned this round around, and so each team could end up making the big comeback to bring it to one round each. Um, that boss getting forced back here by a scout, but oh no, now... Uh, mm, I don't know about this, because our red team here, I think, is not going to be able to grab this point, it, especially because the tree here has the uber, and that's exactly what it needed to do. Pops it right away as soon as it's about five seconds left on the clock, because the uber is going to last over five seconds anyway. So you can just stand there, prevent the capture on the point, and that is one-to-one. -one. Princeton Plainsboro versus Mummy and Friends. So, um... Ha 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 ha, apparently... Oh, that's right, the tree wearing the tree hats. I forgot about that. That's... that's... that's cute. And he's, he's even got a green mask to go along with it. He totally... You know, he could actually go with, like, a brown mask, maybe, and it would be, like, bark on his face, right? Make it, make it look like a tree. But, you know, green works, too. Got some foliage going on there. Anyway, uh... Sniper now. This is Mummy.Grills. Looking down the side here, seeing if he can't snipe somebody, which he's been pretty much doing effectively every round. Uh, soldier's jumping, trying to get on top of the tree here, who does manage to escape for now, but takes a sticky bomb, and he did not grab that health kit which was already taken by his soldier, so that's one of those situations where you kind of need the health. But Woodman does get the kill on Crux, and now 100% Uber here for the tree. He's probably going to have to... No, he doesn't have to pop it yet. Woodman getting really hurt, but not finished off by our soldier over here. So, uh, yeah, having to back way out here to his medic. 
And finally, we're seeing somebody get some capture time on the point, but they... Yes, they do. So Princeton Plainsburg gets the first capture of the round. And if past performance is any indication, that means that uh, uh, Mummy and Friends are going to win this one. Of course, <laughs> I could be totally wrong, but... Oh, Linke getting caught on the fence there after taken out by uh, Woodman, the shotgun propelling him out of bounds. And, uh, ooh, Crux gets smacked with a uh, scattergun shot there. Finally finished off by... Wait. By... Problem, I think. Yeah, he actually fired a pill into Problem, the scout who was, like, right on top of him. So... Uh, you know, he got the kill, but it did end up taking himself out. I do that all the time when I play demo. I'm just terrible. But uh, I'm, I'm not calling him terrible. He's actually a pretty good demo man. Marmaduke here needs to find somebody to heal him. I think he's playing Roamer, so um, he's not going to take too much of the heals. That's that's one of the uh, one of the aspects of playing Roamer. He does have gunboats as well, so he can rocket jump without taking a lot of damage. But uh, you know, I was talking to Pure about how to play the Roman soldier. One of the key tenets of being a roamer is, you know, unless your medic doesn't have anything better to do, you just should not be taking heals, uh, because that way, medic, you know, he knows his priority a little bit better. He can keep his uh, his pocket buffed up to 300. He can keep, you know, the scouts maybe or the demo man buffed. And then the only time you really want to go for a buff uh, as a roaming soldier is when you want to jump in on the enemy medic and then you need that 300 health to get out there. Marmaduke did take out problem. And now Mummy coming around behind the tree. Oh, the tree drops right there as he got 100%. That is huge. Uh, Princeton Plainsboro was going to try taking back the point from our red team, but no, uh, Mummy and Friends are going to hold on to it for a while longer here with a big uber advantage. Nice. Anyway, yeah, Roamer, uh, don't take the heals unless you're going to bomb into the enemy medic, and that's the thing, like, if you know who the roaming soldier is on each team, which in this case it's Marmaduke Grills, and um, I want to say probably Navboss, I'm not sure, yeah, I think Navboss is going to be the Roamer for uh, Princeton Plainsboro, not positive about that. Um, but basically, if you see one of them get up to 300 health, and the other soldier is still alive, what's probably going to happen is that soldier is going to jump in on top of the medic and go for a kill, you know, go for the, the suicide kill. So be, always be watching for that. Like right now, you see that Tiger is taking all the heals, for instance, over on the right-hand side. Um, and so that just means that the medic wants to make sure that his soldier can help uh, defend him and put together a push and whatever else. Uh, so he's sticking with the pocket. But if he were to get together with Marmaduke and give him a 300 buff while Tiger was still alive, that would just mean Mar Marmaduke, for instance, was going to do just what he did now, force the enemy medic to pop the uber a little bit early there. So, nicely done. Um, and now, well, yeah, it looks like the point is still going to be held onto by Princeton Plainsboro. Uh, ooh, problem here being a problem to the medic who tries to go for the uber saw, but no, uh, scouts are just a little bit too quick there. Oh, problem so close to death right now, going for uh, 1v1 with this soldier who, I guess he realized he wasn't going to be able to get away, so he gets taken out by Marmaduke Grills. Make sure you slant what? Huh? I don't get it. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, Team MD has lost the point once again. And it's possible here for either team to win. Once again, another big jump coming in by Marmaduke, who has not got any kills yet. Sneaks into the house there, and then finally gets taken out by Problem, who shot him through that doorway. Nicely done. Linke holding on to the point here with his team, and he's just a tiny bit behind on the Ubers, but that's not going to be enough to matter. I mean, both of them are going to have the Uber before they uh, before they really get into combat, and one pops against the other. So it's when you see like more than a 30% advantage, that's when you start to, to worry about you know which team's going to push first. And it looks like... I, I do say it looks like a lot. I'm aware of that. I know. But our blue team is pushing right in on top, and actually, look at that, even though they built it just a little bit slower. Yeah, red team had the Uber ready to go faster, and now the Uber finally forced by Princeton Plainsboro. They are not capping the point just yet. Uh, with a demo man and a soldier still on top of their medic and just pressuring them a little bit, there's a lot of extra time being bought right now by Crux and his soldier, and now I think this is Tiger. Is that Tiger? Yeah, it is. Jumping in, trying to stop that capture a little bit longer. Uh, but he gets uh, sent home. Sorry about that, Tiger Grills. Sent back to respawn hell. And Grave Gun finishes off Linke as well. So these times are going to get very close together. Princeton Plainsboro is going to have an Uber ready to defend the point. So if they want to win this, Mummy and friends need to somehow find a way to force the enemy to pop their Uber. Or else they just need to build their own back up very, very quickly. But uh, we will see what happens. Uh, let's see Tiger jumping in. It looks like it's going to be a non-Uber push here, which is going to be too late. The tree has an Uber. 
Um, and let me see, Link A, is he running the crit screen? Which, I mean, that would be a good idea. Yes, he is, because basically that's all he has time for. Um, there goes a crossbow. Did he actually hit that scout? I think he did. So, nice shot on the crossbow. But, oh yeah, Uber is forced, and now Link A's popped up in the air, juggled, gets taken down by Grave Gun. And so I think that Princeton Plainsboro is going to hold on to this point. Bam! Scout falls flat on his face there, but no! Our soldiers getting in here, and with, with three heavy classes stacked up on top of each other, one scout here to help defend as well. I think the uh, Grills team, Mummy and Friends, may actually capture this point. Hold on to it. Nicely done by them. Complete wipeout there on the part of Princeton Plainsboro, despite the fact that they had an Uber. And I just got a voice message on Skype. I think it was from the, uh, the cleaning people who I have asked to call me back because my apartment is a mess and I have to put up my brother next week for Thanksgiving. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to clean it all myself. That would be a bad idea. I've got way too much to do. Anyway, uh, Princeton Plainsboro is getting... trying to get the point back, getting a b good bit of positioning advantage, and they have a player advantage too. No scouts left alive for the red team. Somehow, Marmaduke, Link A, everybody staying alive there, and wow! Princeton Plainsboro, despite that, manages to crap, uh, crap the point, cap the point, and win it. Yeah, so don't crap points, kids. That's, uh, that's like, really, really bad for them. And, you know, when people, like, step in it, it it's worse than a sticky trap a little bit. It's just like, ew, ew. You know, you, you gotta be glad that, like, you're wearing the gunboats if, if a uh, roaming soldier steps in that, because at least you can just trade him out for something else and not have to worry about the smell too much. But, you know, then they go back in his locker, and they might get everything else dirty, and... Oh, it's just disgusting. So, you know, please, please don't crap points. 50% uh, Uber for each team. They're building at about the same rate, so they probably both have the regular Medigun. And let me see, you've got a sniper standing on that point for our red team right now, Mummy and Friends. Uh, it is 2-1 to one at the moment, but Mummy and Friends are probably very easily going to be able to bring this back if they can hold this... Uh, well, if they can hold the point for three minutes, duh. Um... But they do have a good advantage right now in terms of positioning. They've got Mummy sitting way back behind the rest of his team, so it's going to be very difficult for Princeton Plainsboro to take out the sniper or to even deal with him. Uh, he can't get the shot on that scout yet, but he's looking right now for jumping soldiers, trying to hit the demo, who actually is on top of the sniper now. I, I kind of like that play there. Oh, <laughs> taken out by the pain train of Grave Gun. Um, yeah, I do like that play. What, what I wanted to say about it was that what they did, they Ubered Grave Gun and they said, okay, uh, Grave, we need you to jump their sniper because they have a sniper and he's being annoying. So they Ubered him, he immediately used that Uber to jump onto the sniper and kill them. However, the rest of that Uber was really kind of wasted because look at that, our, uh, our Princeton Plains Hero team is not able to get enough frags, not able to get time on the point. One soldier, oh, this is a bad idea. Uh, this soldier is going to get taken out. And probably, yeah, not even able to take down the medic. So, uh, nope. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, that was not going to work for him there. The soldier um, ran in by himself against, like, five people. That's not usually what's going to win you games. You know, occasionally you can just be, like, super mad awesome and get 5Ks, but even if you're Wonderwall or TLR or whoever, uh, you'll still probably end up dying and not getting the kill that you want. So, uh, Crux doing some good damage here. Looks like Linke has 95, 98% Uber. Grave Gun with some good damage down there on the Soldier Force, and they group pop a little bit early, but now he's got to drop back here. Does not want to die. And so far, it looks like he's going to get his wish, but he's going to lose the point after... Ooh, maybe not. Soldier Medic combo here, the Tree and Nav Boss, but the Tree pulls out the needles and does end up dying to Mummy. So, uh... You guys remember those movies, The Mummy, uh, Mummy Returns and all that, where uh, where the mummy's like like primary goal in life was to you know kill trees. I don't either because I never saw them, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was about. So uh, it looks like the the age old mummy versus tree rivalry is uh, is really starting up again here on King Hill Viaduct today. Wow, big jumps all the time by the soldier. I'm assuming that's Marmaduke. Yes, it is. Uh, jumping straight on top of the enemy team and the tree taken out once again. This time by mummy. Um, wow, yeah, so, like I said, man, it's it's Mummy versus Tree all day long, and Mummy so far getting the better of him, because it turns out Mummies can move and Trees can't. So, a, a big advantage there, going to our undead, you know, wrapped-up Egyptian friends. Um, oh, nice kill on Problem as well, saving the Demo Man's life. So Mummy's going huge right now. And he finds the Tree again. Needles, though, looks like the Tree may actually have some bite of his own. 
Mummy having to drop back, and he's probably going to, yes, gets taken out by Woodman. So, uh, <laughs> I just realized that Woodman and the tree on the same team is kind of a hilarious combo. Um, but, yeah, great. Ooh, Graven's getting pressured in now by this another scout who, uh, who's a snail boat. Now about getting taken out, though, by Nate Rivers. But look at this. Eight seconds left on the clock for Mummy and Friends. They've held on to this point for so long because they just kept the pressure up on the medic, and Linke was hardly pressured at all. Yeah, we're definitely going to see, I think, uh, Mummy and Friends win this point. It's two seconds left. It's almost in overtime. They just have to cap it once, and I think they'll win. Princeton Plainsboro does hold on to the point for a little while here. Uh, they don't... Yeah, they do have a new advantage. Yeah, that's right. They're almost at 100% now. Link A with 70%, and it looks like he's building a regular number as well. Oh, the tree drops there, the Kritzkrieg, actually, um, which is kind of a big deal. Could have dealt a lot of damage to the enemy team, but now, well, his team has finished up most of the rest of the players. Uh, Tiger and Mummy are left right now, and Mummy trying to get the cap, but Nate Rivers takes him down, says, no, sir, you are not getting on my point just yet. So we narrow up the times a little bit longer. Um, Princeton Plainsboro losing a, another player there, and here goes Snailboat capping the point once again, going after the tree now. Um, snails, I've seen snails on trees quite a lot, and I don't know if they like eat the leaves or whatever, but oh, it turns out the tree gets a little bit of revenge there uh, on snails, who apparently have boats. And it is in overtime right now, so Red Team just needs to uh, to cap this point. But Link A gets taken down, and so once again, Princeton Plainsboro on the point, Mummy trying to go for the tree, but the entire team is defending him. So, uh, oof. This is getting crazy, crazy game right now. A minute and 30 seconds left that uh, Gravegun and the rest of his team are going to have to hold on to this point. Princeton Plainsboro, the hospital from the movie House. The movie, the, the TV series, my bad. That would make a kind of a decent movie. You just, I don't know, like some of their season finales could essentially make movies if you added like an extra 20 or 30 minutes to them because, you know, they're, they're pretty much all the same formula, right? It's like... Huh, here's this guy, also houses, like, a drug addict, and, uh, you know, something else happens to the crew, and then, uh, they try, like, a bunch of different things on the patient, who sometimes doesn't even matter to the story all that much, and then, by the end, the patient either lives or dies, but, uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, to be perfectly honest. House will still keep doing his medicine, and he'll still keep his medical license, even though he tries all kinds of retarded stuff. Anyway, um, Navball's getting taken out here, but it's 45 seconds left on the clock, and I've been talking about, like, lots of random stuff today up in the game. So, uh, my apologies, but our blue team does pop the uber, uh, Link A pops his as well, so both ubers down here, and, yeah, red pop theirs much later, so they should be able to cap the point, I think, yeah, it's six against four right now, with, oh, Soldier helping, uh, Kamikaze there into a, um, demo man, I think, but there you go, dead team 101, two to two against Princeton Plainsboro, uh, and we are gonna have another round. Okay, uh, wait a minute, no, I think, is that halftime? That might be halftime. Maybe? Score? No, it doesn't say. It's just Crux apparently decided to sit in spawn and do nothing. So Grills took out Grave Gun, which is nice. I mean, that's going to mean no Demo Man for either team. But yeah, there you go, that is a pause. There we go. It's like the pause is over, and Mummy, looking for the kill there, can't get it quite yet. Probably going to be skating around there. Yeah, not Mummy's legs at all, which is just hilarious, but that's what happens after a pause. Um, so Crux did drop there, and they're going to have him rejoin very soon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, for now, Marmaduke is actually on Demo Man, because you cannot be missing a Demo Man on this map. It is still 5 versus 6, though, and Princeton Plainsboro is... Uh, they hold on to the point. Let's... There we go. Uh, they've had it for about 20 seconds. Had to reload my HUD just to make sure that worked. Um, wow, Crux still isn't getting back in this game. Uh, they're going to need him, but that's uh, going to be good. Oh, got, you guys can tell I'm losing my voice, can't you? It's starting to snap, crackle, and pop a little bit. Oh, Mummy taken down now. Yeah, this, this push is not going to be effective. Like, the only thing they could possibly do... Um, now, the only thing they could possibly do is maybe make the medic pop, but then they would probably lose four or five players in the process, and the only thing they'd get is an uber advantage. So, yeah, you got to be really careful when you're pushing five on six. Wow, where is Crux? I, if they don't get him back pretty soon, I'm almost positive that uh, Mummy and Friends are going to lose this round. So, Princeton Plainsboro will go up three to two and a half. Here comes the uber, and he's going to shoot at the Dark Soldier first. Nope, looks like uh, Dark Soldier is still dark after taking that uber. But... 
Princeton Plainsboro holds on to the point quite easily. There goes Snailboat. Um, problem is down, but not enough damage coming down with the blue team here for uh, the Mummy and Friends team to really be able to get away with anything right now. Uh, equalizer after this Soldier Link is taken down. Mummy now as well. Where is Tiger? Woodman has like 1 HP, but managed to get away from that without dying, so very, very nice. Um, and somebody in the stream chat is saying, you know, it doesn't really seem fair to keep playing when you're missing a player. Is that typical? Uh, it depends on how long you have to wait. Uh, that was actually a really, really long pause, and I fast-forwarded through a lot of it. But, um, there you go. They, they did just get Crux back in the game. Um, but yeah, they, it's not usual that you'll play 5 against the 6 for very long. But in that case, I guess they were just like, you know, we, we need to get this game going again. And so you know, I, th I think the rules in ESCA may only allow for like a five minute pause or two. I'm not sure what the exact rules are. So uh, that could be part of it. Nate Rivers taken down. And so now finally, <coughs> there's only 40 seconds left on the clock. We're seeing Mummy and Friends may be able to push. But no, the Uber is popped for Princeton Plainsboro. So once again, it looks like they will be able to... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say they'll be able to defend this. Oh, problem. And Gravegun getting some nice kills there on the red team. Mummy and friends, uh, they can cap the point, which is what Tiger's doing right now, and now uh, taking the Uber as well. Uh, oh, didn't even manage to get an boss who at 22 health is behind their lines right now, using the Equalizer to run around and grab health kits. So he's going to be doing some damage. Um, oop, there he goes. Never mind. He's going to be doing no damage at all because he was caught out there by Crux. So the Princeton Plainsboro Hospital, though, only needs to cap the point maybe like one more time, two at the maximum, to win this round. And it's not, you know, it's not always easy to cap the point, but they've got two and a half minutes to do it. So I, I'm pretty sure this is going to go to Princeton Plainsboro. Uh, see, it sounds like the tree is the Ubermensch, and Scout can pop up in the air there, juggled, and then finished off by Snailboat. So, Crux helping out with the Sticky Bomb. This is what you do as a demo. You're going to get a lot of assists, not necessarily a lot of kills. Um, although, <laughs> there are some demos out there who can get a lot of kills, and they're crazy. But you get a lot of damage put down, and you call it out. So, um, so you f basically, you just say, okay, I just did a bunch of damage to this soldier, or the medic, or these scouts, and then the rest of your team is supposed to finish them off. Pretty much. So, Uber is popped for Link A, just now fading away. And they, they did hold on the point for a little while there, but now, oh, Link A bombed in by Woodman, who has gotten a second kill here and probably going to help kill Crux as well. These scouts doing some crazy damage, and yep, there he goes, Woodman with a 3k. Um, so, that's going to be good for Princeton Blainsboro. Five against two, Snailboat and Mummy trying to jump in here and get some capture time on the point, but uh, Snailboat immediately taking out. Mummy coming around behind and finished off by Woodman. So, that's going to be the halftime, guys. Three to two in favor of Princeton Blainsboro. Okay, we are back with the second half here. Princeton Plainsboro leading 3-2. to two. And I just had to dry swallow an allergy pill, which uh, <laughs> took a little while, but that's okay. Um, hmm, there is... Nah, there's not really enough of an Uber differential for each of these teams to be running the Quitzkrieg. So, uh, Link A running regular Uber, and of course his opponent I think will be as well. Let's see, yep, there's the tree holding that regular medigun. Somebody stole his health kit, but there you go. It did just respawn, so he's going to grab that. Um, three players already getting taken out in a very quick bomb in by Nate Rivers and Grave Gun. The two of them did die as a result, but it's three versus three now with uh, the point. I think the better, oh, excuse me, the better positioning being held by our red team. There goes an Uber, though. So it looks like Mummy and Friends are really committed to holding on to this point and capturing it first. Nicely done by them, but the problem is now there's an Uber ready to go for the tree, who, oh, is forced way behind the point. He does send a soldier into bomb on top of Crux and takes him out, so the Uber did a little bit of damage there. Uh, but is it going to be enough? They will cap the point, but Nate Rivers is taken down. There goes Mummy, so yeah, I think it is going to be enough, actually. That Uber, even though it was forced really early, has managed to do enough damage to hold this point for a little while for the Princeton Plainsboro team. Now, Linke has a bit of an advantage himself because he did not get taken out, but where's Netboss going? Okay, going to drop back. Yeah, very rarely will you see either of these teams, once they hold the point, like, they are not going to go through these doors, because once you do, you're basically in range of enemy spawn, they can just, like, uh, open and close the door whenever they want, hit that health cabinet, it's, you don't want to be over there, um, you know, unless you've got a demo man spawn camping, but that's only when you're already, like, winning by a crazy, crazy margin. And no, I didn't make an announcement today, just because I didn't have time, sorry guys, so, uh, 
Uh, it wasn't that I forgot, it was that I consciously chose to, uh, <laughs> to just start casting because I have to go to class as soon as this is over. The tree did pop the uber once again, so the soldier is doing an amazing job here on the blue team of forcing the ubers out of the tree. But, even though the tree is taken down, the entire blue team was killed. So, there you go, Princeton Plainsboro holding on to the point once again. They've got a time lead, and they may end up winning this fight. Um, Link A in the stream chat now, who apparently thinks I'm doing this for him, but I'm actually doing it for the viewers. Uh, Link A is just, uh, just, just happy that he's getting casted right now. Ooh, uh, Delman jumped in really far there. Link A taken down by Grave Gun. Nice jump by that guy. 32 health left, and the scout's chasing after him, so he's probably gonna die. Yeah. Uh, pulled out the pain train as a last resort because I think he was all out of ammo and all of his guns. But it doesn't matter because actually the Prince ooh, the Mummy and Friends team is going to cap the point. Oh, a little mistake there. I ended up uh, kind of cutting the cast just a bit early, but oh well. With Princeton Plainsboro up 3 to 2 right now, and it looks like a bit of a time advantage. It's going to be really, really tough here for our, uh, our the, the opposing team that is Mummy and Friends to get out there and finish off this round, finish off another round as well. It's possible but right now Princeton Plainsboro tapping the point. Looks like uh, once again they're going to start shaving time off of the clock. Let's just see here. I want to find. Uh, well, it looks like Woodman actually was getting a little bit forward, but he's dropping back now. We've got just some regular old spam going up across the rocks right there. And if I do sound like my voice is a little bit different right now, it's because um, it's the middle of the morning, right before I go to class, and I just realized that I, uh, I completely screwed the pooch and, like, failed the record on the original cast. But oh well. Um, Medic dropping back now for Princeton Plainsboro, and it looks like they are going to lose the point once again, possibly. Um, yeah, they're losing a lot of players now. They should drop back, drop back, drop back. Oh, no, getting bombed in. Uh, Soldier getting taken out there. Nav boss with really no losses at all for the blue team. So Mummy and Friends getting kind of a free kill there, and it could very quickly get to three all in the next well, the next two minutes, right? Uh, I think he's got to get some heals on. And it looks as if... This could end up getting tied up to 3 on I I don't know. Like, maybe I've already seen this game once because I already cast it all the way through and I'm just, like, giving some hints. Or maybe, maybe Princeton Plainsboro will come back here. But, uh, of course, you can see that the Uber advantage does go to Mummy and Friends right now. Link A with, there you go, 100%. So, uh, at very least, that's going to delay things for 8 seconds, probably longer. Um, I, I attempted a bomb in there by Grave Gun, but didn't work at all. And so... Yeah, now most of the team here, aside from Snailboat, who apparently just died, is getting overhealed. Marmaduke died as well, but now we've got Mummy. Oh, taking out one scout. Problem. And uh, actually finds the other one here. Mm, eight health left. Oh, takes him out too. Nay River's gone down to Mummy. So, Mummy from Mummy and Friends. Showing us maybe why the team's been named after him. He doesn't have any special hats on or anything, though. Um, gotta work on that, Mummy. Oh, gets hit once again. You're gonna have to back off there. But man, uh, nice, nice dropping back of the medic and good heals by Link A. Make sure his team stays up. Um, and there you go, that is the bomb in that they needed. So finally, Princeton Plainsboro has managed to force pot out of Link A. But they're behind in time right now. And uh, you know, Grave Gun is desperately just trying to keep himself alive and the rest of his team. And oh, there's a scout behind problem. It's taken out by Snail Boat. Nav Boss finally finishes that off, but Grave Gun looks like he's going to have to go hit the cabinet, which is just wasting precious seconds. No, he's turning back around, um, but, I mean, there's there's no coordination right now, or very little coordination between Prince and Plainsboro members. Uh, they did manage to get a kill on Marmaduke, who once again tried to dive bomb manage to get some damage done, and it looks like it has worked. So, Princeton Plainsboro attempting to deal damage, and it's not going to be enough. There you go. It is now 3-3. Three to three. Pretty crazy stuff going on right here. Um... So, which team? I don't actually remember which team wins this. Um, <laughs> it's going to be just as exciting the second time around because I have the memory of a goldfish. So, as we get out to the mid fight here, which demo man is going to end up getting whoops, the better positioning? It looks as if, once again, Crux getting just a little bit better in that exchange. And now, oh, our soldier here taking way too much damage. Navboss is down. 
Princeton Plainsboro getting some positioning on the point, especially with their scouts who are being very aggressive right now. But there goes Nate Rivers as a result. I mean, if you, if you get that aggressive and then you get caught out by yourself, by a soldier or whatever, uh, you can very easily die very quickly. And look, Princeton Plainsboro has lost four members. Me and friends have lost none. And, oh, Snailboat chased the tree all the way back into spawn. So everything I said about, you know, running into spawn earlier, if that actually got recorded, just, uh, just disregard that, please. Oh, I can already feel my throat, like, uh, letting me know that it's probably not the best time of day to be casting, and as a result, when I have to give a speech later today, I'm just gonna be, like, hacking and coughing my way through it, and they'll be like, uh, you're not very good at this, are you? I'll be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. But, uh, we do have the scouts kind of creating a protective screen there, watching the flank, making sure they know which way people are coming from. Nice kill by Crux on that boss, who's jumping in after the medic, and there goes Brave Gun as well. Two deaths for Princeton Plainsboro with nothing to show for it. It's already taken a minute off the clock for Mummy and Friends. Um, and, I mean, yeah, they were trying to go for, like, a medic pick there, but the, the coordination from those jumps was not good enough. Um, if they even intended to go in together, which they probably didn't, they probably just said, okay, we'll send in one, one soldier. And then they were like, oh, that didn't work, we'll send in the demo. Oh, that didn't work. Well, now we're sure. Uh, but anyway, they do have the Uber. They're going to pop that, and they pop it a lot later than Linke does. So Woodman getting right on top of Linke, and good kill by him to know exactly when that Uber is finishing off. Woodman has now finished off Crux as well, but Princeton Plainsboro has lost three members, and it looks like the medic's probably going to get taken down. Woodman here getting caught on a corner, um, and he is now finished off by the SMG of Mummy. So, wow. Oh, very close to killing the tree as well. Mummy now peeking in here. Oh, going to get a kill? No. Okay, so gonna have to run back now. And actually, he's way out of position here. Scout coming in on top of him, and uh, Grave Gun helps finish off Mummy, so probably not the best position for a sniper to be in. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that's a fairly, fairly common mistake, I guess, of, of most snipers. They just, they get right into the enemy spawn. No, I'm just kidding. In competitive games, it's not common at all. Anyway, it's one minute to three minutes, basically, right now. Um, so, Princeton Plainsboro needs to get three minutes off the clock. Mummy and friends only need to recapture with one minute left for them to win this game, and so, so far, it's looking like it's in Mummy and friends' favor, but of course, as time kicks off the clock, it's just getting closer and closer. Uh, here in ESC8 open. Link A does have an Uber almost ready to go. There's a nice little sticky trap over there on the rocks. Gotta watch out for that. That could end up taking somebody down. Um, soldier there. Marmaduke Grills jumps in once again. And now... Oh! <laughs> the Uber dropped there on that sticky trap. Nobody noticed it. Link A goes down. So does uh, whoever he was trying to Uber there. I don't think it was Crux, actually, but it was Tiger. Wow. That's huge. Princeton Plainsboro coming up with... Uh, they're definitely going to equalize the times. They've, they're going to have a big Uber advantage. Um... That was just really, really good play by their demo, and a big mistake by Linke and Tiger to not spot that. Now, Princeton Plainsboro still trying to, uh, to harass just a little bit. Problem does get taken down, and actually there's only two members left for Princeton, so I was thinking they were going to hold this for a long time, but they've just lost everybody here, and now the point going to get captured by Mummy and friends. A snail bolt coming around the side of this demo man, and does help finish him off there, Mummy, with the final blow. Link A is running up to Mission find somebody to heal. He's, seconds. yeah, there you go. Gonna grab the scout, so at least he will have a roughly even Uber percentage to the tree. They've gotten down underneath a minute now, and if Princeton Plainsboro can't recapture this point within the next minutes, then that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the game in favor of Mummy and Friends. So it's all down to this right now. Um, what's Navboss gonna do? What is the tree gonna do? Will they get that Uber in time? I mean, they've, they've got enough time to build it up as long as they don't get pressured too hard by the scouts, by Marmaduke especially. In fact, I'm going to watch that guy because we all know what's going to happen right now, don't we? Uh, let's see. Oh, he's not buffed up, so... Mm, he does manage to get a killing great gun. Good kill there. And the tree does go down. Not by Marmaduke, actually, so... <laughs> Maybe one of the scouts instead. I did not catch that kill. Tiger... Uh, hoping to finish off Nate Rivers. Problem is down, so it's just like they're throwing their members at this team one at a time. Ten seconds left on the clock. It may very well go into overtime here if Princeton manages to recapture the point, but so far they're not even able to do that. Here comes the Uber, perfectly timed. So that's just going to stand there on the point, and look at how fast this point goes down. It's only problem. Nate Rivers left alive. I think that's going to be it. Mummy and friends should win this game as long as they can get the next, yeah, one or two kills. Nate Rivers gets taken down. So does problem, and that is it. That's the game. Nicely played to both teams. Mummy and friends take it four to three. Uh, that was that was an incredible finish there to an ESEA open game. So thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Salamancer signing out and heading straight off to class.